Hello everyone and welcome back on the TSG and I'm bringing you a brand new episode of TSG Athletic today. Um, I know you're all enjoying the series, um, so let's see how we got on since last time out. I believe it was the Eastbourne Borough game we saw along with the Hungerford. Two draws and then we carried on with another draw against Wildstone um, and Alessandro Caldara scored that goal. Um, and here we actually did go 1-0 up and then obviously they came back in the 79th minute equalised um, and we had to take a point from that game and then it was to St Albans who Harvey Thompson scored his first ever goal um, for TSG Athletic in this game which is brilliant news so we got the 1-0 win three points in the league very important and then it was over to the FA Cup second qualifying round against Tiverton a team we should easily be beating um, and we did as you can see 6-0 and in this game everyone was um Every goal scorer scored their first goal for the club, except from Goddess Sandy, who scored in the 92nd minute, um, getting his second goal, as he's got one in the league already. Um, but if we have a look, um, Charles Ikeen Frost got his um, first goal for the club and his second in this game. Joey Barrett, the left back, got his first goal four minutes in. Um, and then also Axel Becker, the centre half, got his first goal of uh, TSG Athletic, and Aaron Aberg as well, just on half time. So not a bad run at all. And then it came back to the league where we lost one nil to Oxford City, which was disappointing. They were probably the better team though. Again, just the odd goal we're losing by. And then it's the Billericay who are top of the league, who we played well against. They went one nil up early. And then Alessandro Caldara equalised and then they scored in the second half and 1-2-1. So that brings us to present day. In this episode, I'm going to bring you the Welling game, who are 11th. Uh, the home game to Billericay in the FA Cup third qualifying round. And then the away game to Braintree. So they're the three games I'm going to bring you in this episode. So let's get started um, and get into the game against Welling. Right, we're on the team selection page now for the game against Welling. And as you can see, I've actually changed the formation as well. I've got, I'm now running two different formations. I've got the 4-1-2-3. Um, and then I've got the 4-2-3-1, um, which I've been switching between depending on who's available or who, what the opponent is and how I want to play in the game. I think for this game, I'm going to go back to the 4-2-3-1. Um, and let's have a look. A lot of players are struggling on fitness. So it's going to be a good rotation game, this one. So the two central midfielders will stay in there. We'll change this for Mark Emmanuel Garcia. Carl Barkley will start with Eddie Palmer on the right. Um, we will change the striker. We'll bring in Charles Akeun Frost again for this game and see how he goes. Um, as he did get the two goals in the other game. And then we have Joey Barrett left back. And we'll bring Axel Becker in instead of Oliver Windle for this game. And we'll start Abdelay. Actually, no, he's struggling on fitness. Michael Longy is going to go in for this game. And we'll get this one underway. Here we go then. TSG Athletic, first game of the episode. Come on. We've got a free kick early on here. Put a good ball into the box. Oh, he's gone back. Go on. Hits it. Oh, and what a save from the keeper. That was a chance there. Barrett with the corner. And they're getting some possession now. Flicks it on, Goldberg. Carrius with a save. That's a brilliant save, that one. Oh, only six minutes in and both teams could have scored. Another highlight, wow. Oh no, that's not great to give the ball away there, but we got it back. Lost it again. Cook. Shoots, and luckily that's wide. Carrius had that covered, of course. Right there, starting to get on top, as you can see, in terms of the shots. We're not really creating any chances. Let's see what this highlight is. Palmer on the right-hand side. Does a massive switch. That's a great ball. Oh, no, gives it away. 
Rooney shoots. Oh wow, that's a very good finish from him, but way too easy. I think actually I'm going to go back to the other formation just to see how we can play like this. I feel like this will benefit us more in this game, especially after the early dominance um, Welling have had against us. So we'll switch it up and see how that goes. We've had one shot all game and that came in the first three minutes. They've got a free kick in a dangerous place. Come on, get a tackle in. Oh my word, what a save by Karius again. If it wasn't for him, we'd be 3 or 4 nil down. This is not ideal at all. Terrible first half. We need to be much better. Go balance for now. Show some passion. We'll start getting angry towards the players. See if they up their game. Doesn't look like it. Another ball in from them and they score. Luke Rooney with his second of the game. And that might be... The one that seals it for Welling. I don't know what it is. It's been a bit of a struggle at the start of um, this series with TSG Athletic. We've got decent players, but maybe because they're so young, it's, it's not getting us the points at the moment. They need some game time to get confidence and improve even more and start getting wins and stuff. Maybe it wasn't the greatest idea to have everyone as a youngster, but... I was trying to build for the future. As long as it's the first season we stay in the football league, um, well, we stay in the um, in the conference south. Sorry, um, I'll be happy, and then we can build on it next season. I we'll make two subs there, just plainly because they are running out of energy, and we're going to make one last attacking substitute, bringing Caldara into the game, and we are going to then show some passion and we are going to go very attacking for the last 10 minutes see if we can get at least one goal back they're just playing it around now Kodara steals it. Go on. Palmer. Oh, he's at the post and they've cleared. If we wanted any chance of getting a point, that had to go in. I think it's too little, too late. Garcia on the free kick, though. And it's a penalty. Kodara will take it. Let's just check he is the best. Him or Garcia. I think Kodara is the striker. They've both not taken a penalty yet. Kodara is the striker. We'll leave it to him. Come on, stick it away. Yeah, it's a good pen. Come on, get the ball. Four minutes. Can we do a push forward? Can't shout anything at the moment. Demar Moore, get up the pitch. Come on. And maybe if that got shot from Eddie Palmer did go in, we would have had a chance then. But obviously hitting the post, so unlucky. And again, we lose by one goal. It's always the odd goal. Or we go ahead and then we come back to a draw. We just need to get ahead and stay ahead. Um, but let's see how we can do in the next couple of games. I think in the end that was a decent performance, especially that second half. But we left it too late to do anything real in that game. Team selection for the FA Cup qualifying round game against Billericay. And I think I'm going to start with this formation today. Um, and I'm going to change a few things. We're going to have Simon Gray, her start in the holding midfielder spot. Keep the two central midfielders. Adair Palmer's going to have a rest. We'll get Andy Pichardo back in. We'll fill up the bench with Pablo Jones and Goddess Sandy with this one. Um, Michael Longyear will be swapped out for Abdele Digne. We'll start Aaron Aberg. What about the defence? Fabian Miller could do with a... We'll get Axel Becker as the no-nonsense stopper. 
window as cover. Charles Ikeen Frost. I think we're going to go with Goddess Sandy. He hasn't started a game for a while. Here we go. Come on, Tears, Jeff. Let it. Let's get into the game. Get us into the next round. Right. Highlight for them early on. Robinson coming down the wing. Come on, lads. Let's get a tackle in. No, let's not concede again. First time in the game. Let's get ahead this time. <sighs> Cracks it against the bar and we get away with one there. Again, the ball comes in. He heads it wide. Again, we get away with another scare. Look at them. They're completely on top. I think we're going to have to go cautious because they're getting attack after attack after attack. Pichardo stolen it. Oh, not the greatest of passes. Come on, get stuck in. <sighs> Feels like it's only a matter of time before they score. We're going to have to demand more or get something out of the players. Here we go. Barrett swings the ball in. Pichardo, go on. And it's a brilliant goal. We go 1-0 up. What a finish. Drills it into the far corner. Let's have a look at that one again. Barrett just sends it in the box. Pichardo drops off though. Anticipates it. Bang. Hard and low. Keepers don't save them. We're 1-0 up. Come on. Let's keep the lead now. Okay, Joey Barrett is really struggling. 55%. I didn't even notice that at first. And um, we're going to have to put Fabian Muller in at left back. We don't have any left backs on the bench. Um, that was a good half. I like that. After starting so poorly and it looked like we were bound to concede, we've ended up getting ourselves ahead. Oh no. Good head away. It's still there though. Lays it back and yeah. When he has that much space in the box, he's always going to be able to pick a finish. Lewis done. Makes it one all. I'm not sure if it goes to a replay in the qualifying rounds or if it just... Um, obviously in the main FA Cup it would go to a replay, but in this I'm not sure if it does. Oh my god, Pichardo off the line! Wow, Pichardo scored at one end and saved a goal at the other. Great performance so far from him. And let's have a look what we can do in terms of subs. I think what we're going to do is change Goddess Sandy and bring in uh, Pablo Jones up top. Where's he best suited as an advanced forward? Hopefully he can get his first goal for the club. I believe he hasn't scored. Let's have a look. No, he hasn't scored yet. Only one start though in the league and five off the bench. Axel Becker's looking exhausted. Oh, God. This... We're just going to have to throw someone on it in uh, um, left back. Unfortunately, going to have to be Carl Barkley. He's never played there before, but hopefully he can do a job. Here we go. Aberg on the corner. Swings one in. And he scores! Pablo Jones, I said. He hasn't scored for the club. I said he's only made one start. He's come off the bench a couple of times. I said, please get us a goal. And he has... And look at that, it falls to him lovely. And it's a nice little finish. Pablo Jones off the mark for TSG Athletic and could have secured us the win, to be honest. Um, let's go maybe defensive. Oh no, not now. Wow. And let's tighten up and just see out this game. Oh no, 94th minute. Don't do this to us. Wow. Thank God he's offside. He did miss anyway, but... That will be full time. Pablo Jones, you absolute hero, coming off the bench, securing us 
a place in the next round. Let's see who we get as well. I don't know when the draw is, but be interesting to see who we get and how many more qualifying rounds there are. Anyway, now into this game, away to Braintree, back to the league. Um, a few changes will need to be made. We're going to bring Michael Longyear back in at right back. Fabian Muller will come in at centre half. Joey Barrett, Simon Gray. I think the midfield three are pretty um, solid. Maybe no Benaga for. Let's go Harvey Thompson in this game. Can he play in the central midfield position if he's maybe a bit more attacking? Anyway, we'll see how that goes. We'll put him in there. I think Pachado deserves a start. Um, we'll get Eddie Palmer on the bench. Along with Caldara will start this game actually as an advance forward and we'll get Pablo Jones on the bench after his heroics last game ready to score a winner again I hope and um, we're going to start Cole Barkley so that's how we're going to line up for this game let's get into it come on TSG three points needed right we're underway let's not start slow like last time let's get ahead early okay 20 minutes gone Nothing really happening. We haven't let him out of a shot yet, which is good. Here we go, highlight. Oh, and he's given away a penalty. Oliver Windle pushes him to the ground. Who is it taking it? Mayub Mayuba? Slots at home. 1-0 down again. We've got to find our way back into the game. Let's create a couple of chances. Oh, not concede again before half-time. He's hit the post, luckily. All right. That was disappointing. Needed a lot more from you in that second half. We'll stay up positive. And we'll demand more. We're just not creating really any chances. There's been two highlights, both for them this game. We'll see what this one is. It looks like it'll be another one to them. Get rid of it. Still there, green. All can, and he scores. Oh, it's a great ball. Kodara, go on, finish it. Oh, Johnson with a good save. We really needed that to go in. Barrett on the corner. Headed away easily. Swings one back in. Oh, it's another corner. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal. Before the 75th minute to give us a chance of getting an equaliser one. We're going to go attacking. We've got nothing really to lose now. Time to make some subs. Pablo Jones, do your thing. Pichardo for Eddie Palmer. Come on. Um, and we'll make one sub in the midfield. Palmer on the free kick. Puts the ball in. Is that a goal? What's happened? It looked like it ended up in the goal. Although it hasn't been given. There must have been a foul in there somewhere. Mayuba on the free kick. Oh, and what a save by Carrius. I tell you what, this episode, he's made some unbelievable saves. Fair play. And again, they hit the post. I think they have just been better than us so far this game. But as our players keep improving, um, as we sign new ones, we will hopefully strengthen. I mean, they're all youngsters all with good potential ability. As long as I keep giving game time, keep shuffling them around, um, hopefully we'll be able to put a streak of wins together. And there you go, there's the third, and that will probably be game. I'm going to go back to positive to try not lose by too many. We'll see. It's, it's, it's not been good enough, this game, at all. Let's get a consolation goal. Go on, Pablo Jones. Swing a ball in. Palmer. Long year. 
puts it back in and Carl Barkley scores. That's his first goal for the club. So that's a positive to take from the game. Carl Barkley getting his first goal. Love to see that. Long year. Great ball in. Good header as well. Heads it away from the keeper. Nicely done. There we go. Then a 3-1 loss. On the terms of stats, it didn't look like a 3-1 loss. But when you looked at the highlights, maybe they did deserve it a little bit more in terms of their chances compared to ours. But positive is Kyle Barkley got his first goal for TSG Athletic. Let's see where we are now in the league. Um, I think we're not sitting too pretty. Um, no, we're down in 19th. We're only four points ahead of the bottom two. So we really need to put some wins together. But again, we're only seven points off seventh place. So, you know, we, we get a good month of four or five wins out of seven or eight games. Um, we're straight back up there. It's just getting them wins. At the moment, we're, le we're always losing by the odd goal. I know that last game we did lose by two. Um, but before that, look, 2-1 loss, 2-1 loss, 1-0 loss. And then we got draw, 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 one goal loss draw one goal loss draw so it's all been tight games and we've just not had enough to get either the three points or to get a draw so as soon as we turn that round um as soon as we um change things up slightly i believe we would definitely improve especially with this young squad we've got anyway if you did enjoy the video please do leave it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new i've been the tsg goodbye